We now place ourselves in the loving presence of God. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your, and with your spirit. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of this day. Thank you for the safe and good night rest and for the blessings of this day. Thank you for giving us another chance to praise, to love you, and to be closer to you, together with our loved ones, wherever they are. We ask you, Lord, to bless our gathering and be with us, as you had been always with disciples at Emmaus. Stay with us that we may listen to you. Stay with us that we may experience you as well in the breaking of the bread. Stay with us as we break the word for each other and share the goodness of your love for us. Continue to bless all those people who we have promised our prayers and for those whom we whom recommended themselves our prayers. Bless as well our loved ones, especially those who have difficulties and those who have problems. As we entrust to you, our government leaders, the peace of the world, as well as those people with many concerns. And our Filipino brothers and sisters are affected by this typhoon. But for the moment, be with us, O oh Lord. We need your inspiration. We need your guidance and love. Stay in, with us in this upper room of the Zoom. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, you. to you, O Lord. The scribes and the Pharisees said to Jesus, The disciples of John the Baptist fast open and offer prayers, and the disciples of the Pharisees do the same. But yours eat and drink. Jesus answered them, can you make the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come, and when the bridegroom is taken away from them, then they will fast in those days. And he also told them a parable. No one tears a piece from a new cloth to patch an old one. Otherwise, he will tear the new, and the, pe and the piece from it will not match the old cloth. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the new wine will burst the skins and it will be spilled and the skins will be ruined. Rather, new wine must be poured into fresh wineskins. And no one has, who has been drinking old wine desires new, for he says, the old is good. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. Good morning and good evening. Good evening, Father. Good evening, Father. Siguro yung 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 last part about the wine si Kuya Father si Kuya Father si Tito Benji. May explain kasi mukhang mas mahilig sa wine si Tito Benji. So he would know for sure <laughs> what is the oil, what is the wine, and how many percent of alcohol would there be. We have come continuously to the Gospel of St. Luke as we have started this week. And we realized that, again, the, the Pharisees and those who are around him were simply watching him. We saw this one in Matthew as well. And it was a constant struggle. For, for him against those people, even we say religious leaders, the Pharisees, the scribes, the Sadducees, because they have no other inkling or thought, but only to see and to comment, uh, comment about Jesus and the things that he would be doing oh, against the law. We realize that there are three, of course, three ways even to foster holiness as Jesus would indicate, the fasting, the abstinence, and the prayer. And those are our programs for Lenten season in particular. But it would be also a program throughout our lives so as to continue putting ourselves to the framework of what the Lord wants from us. And so here the disciples of the Pharisees and even the others were commenting that his disciples are not doing the fasting perhaps it would be in terms of food or in terms of other things that this fasting that they had observed 
but primarily when it is, of course, fasting in the old language, especially in them, it would be more about what they are taking. Although later on, we would see Jesus taking that fasting. It's not simply about not taking the food, but rather it's the fasting of the heart that is circumcising the heart towards conversion and not to sin anymore. But the language of Jesus is very clear. He said, how can they fast if they are with the bridegroom? Indeed, it's very logical. When you go to a wedding feast, you do not fast except if you have the stomach ache. If you go to the wedding feast, you join them. You enjoy the party till throughout. Of course, in the Philippines, you know, when there is the, the wedding, it's really a fiesta. In, in, the, in Italy, when you go for a wedding and you say yes, you have to reserve your whole day, probably from the mass to the lunch, because lunch would take seven <clears throat> hours towards evening and everything. So you could not even go. So Pilipinas lang, you eat and go. <laughs> that, that's the way. <laughs> Pagkatapos kumain, alis ka. Tapos na ng kain. Then, tapos na. Pero may run. United, may binalot na. Even may run. run. <laughs> Kasama may binalot. You know. Sa United States, it's also a very, very special way. You know, you have you're yung tinatawag yung appetizer pa lang. The first part would be already sort of dinner or lunch. It's it's already so full. And the dinner, of course, you know, with the part and everything. So you find time. So when you have the bridegroom with you, you enjoy, you celebrate much food even or even drinking. But of course, Jesus here is saying that he is present. They could not fast because he is present. The bridegroom of the life of the disciples, our bridegroom as well. But he said, of course, prophetically, that when the bridegroom is away, they will be also fasting. And this happened with the apostles when the Lord left them after his death. It was a real fasting for them. When he was buried, even in his suffering, that was a real fasting for them. The bridegroom was not with them. And so they suffered as well. Even after the resurrection, the ascension of the Lord, they were left alone. But of course, there was the spirit. But you see, their life was an expression of that fasting because they were looking forward to see the groom that even their lives becomes, become a meaningful journey of martyrdom, of a witness to what the Lord had done. And so that, that fasting is also or did happen upon them as well. The last part of the gospel, Jesus invites us that, to see that he's the fullness of this revelation. Yes, the old wine would defer to the Old Testament. The new wine would defer to the New Testament. And this is the fulfillment. Jesus is the new wine. The new wine of the word of God. The new wine of the mission of the Father. That in him there's the fullness of life. There is everything. And so he wanted that we could not just simply refer back to the past. Because the fulfillment is already here. The Pharisees and the scribes would have always their point of reference at the past. Of course, the past is already making forward or prophesying for what is the fulfillment. And Jesus came as a fulfillment of the, what the Old Testament had been telling, prophesying about. And so therefore, we have now the new wine of our life. Jesus, the Lord, has given himself for us so that we may live to the full. May we drink this new wine, Jesus, the Lord, his word, his sacraments through the church. And now through the Holy Spirit, so that at the end of the day, we will not only fast, but experience the fullness of our life with him. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For allowing us to drink. For allowing us to drink. The new wine of life. The new wine of life. None other you, Lord. None, none, none other than, than you, Lord. 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 You are the new wine sent by the Father. You are the new wine sent by the Father. With your word and life. With your, With word. your word and life. You have given us your body and blood in the sacrament. You have given, you have given us your body and, and blood in the sacrament. That is the unbloody manner. That is the unbloody mother. But you have given us foremost your life on the cross. 
but you have given, given us for most your life on the cross. the cross so that we will have forgiveness of our sins so that we will have forgiveness of our sins and find new life and find, and find new, new life. life lord may we welcome you always lord may we welcome, may we welcome you always. always as a bridegroom of our life as a bride of our lives and celebrate life with you. <coughs> celebrate life with you until fullness and eternity. Until fullness and eternity. Amen. 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 Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, of God, Father of God, pray for us Amen. Saints Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel, pray, pray for, for, us. for us. Angel of God, pray my pray God, God, dear, God, dear, to whom God's, God's love brings me here. Pray for my side, light and God, and God. Amen. 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 Saint Augustine, Saint Anthony, and Saint Hannibal. Pray, pray for pray us. For us. Send, O Lord. Holy Apostles in your church. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Have mercy, have mercy, mercy on, us. on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Have mercy, have mercy, on, mercy us. on us. The Lord be with you. And with you, the Almighty God bless us all, the Father and the Son and the Amen. Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Good Thank evening, you, all, Father. and good morning. Thank you very Thank much, Father. Father. Good evening, Father. Welcome. I was about to comment kanina. Sabi ko si Tita Bell is having her vocation promotion with the presence of Tita Mel. <laughs> so, so, uh, so happy uh, pa uh, yes so dapat bawat Mel isa is may vocation here. promotion eh. <laughs> <laughs> two stars added two stars kay Tita Bel dalawa dalawa ang ano niya ang friends niya na nag join wala lang si Connie oh, wow. ngayon wow. wala wow. lang si Connie so, so, nice. Oh, so nice, very so nice. nice. So, you see, very, nice. very, very fruitful vocation promotion, it is Abel. Yen yung results ng send o Lord, holy apostles in oh, yeah. the church. Oh, oh, yes, yes, oh. Thank you, Hannibal. Yes, we bring. <laughs> so welcome, yeah. Tita Mel. Thank you, thank you, Father. <laughs> welcome for see you soon in Cebu. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Father. Oh, oh. Let me know yeah. once you're coming here, uh, Father. <laughs> yes, <laughs> leave <ako>. Lord, yes. <laughs> leave. I'll file a leave. <laughs> leave ka agad. <laughs> Beach is the work. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Mag Magkita tayo very soon. Mm -hmm. November 2 to 22. Wow. Yeah. wow. Okay. Kay Tita, kay Tita MJ yun, November 2. Tita MJ. Uh, uh, 2 to 22. Okay, I have, ano, September 13, 14, Tita Bell. May meeting ako sa Toledo. Mm. Toledo, sa Tibu. Layo. Oo. Plano na natin kung kailan ang mass, Father. Apo. Oh, Apo. Ayo. Tita. Oh, so, September. kailan niyo mabalak magmas? Uh, Saturday or Sunday lang, Father. Oo oh, nga eh. Ito September 8. Mama Mary. Uh, so, Mama Mary. next week. Oo. Uh, 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 kung uh, kahit uh, lang yung mas, uh, ano yung lahat? Ha. Uh, Iplano -i natin. I-finalize natin na uh, tomorrow. Uh, Ma-plano natin. Mm, tomorrow. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so, wow. Si Mama Mary say. So, um, yeah, ang, yeah, ang, yeah. Ang, ang today's gospel father ba? Um, Apa? Parang parang very deep ang meaning niya, no? Na uh, 
old white uh, ano, wine skin and uh, new wine skin. So, ang okay. old wine skin pa lang yun. Ang, ang new wine skin is Jesus or, or um, mm-hmm. after yes. the, our life the bride our with Jesus. The bridegroom na. Tapos, ang old wine skin is yung old uh, ano natin. Old, uh, the Old Testament. Referring to, sa biblical language, it refers to the Old Testament which Old is Testament. a prefiguration of the coming of the Lord. So uh-huh. everything of the Old Testament is pointing to the fulfillment of this revelation. Diba? The Father uh-huh. had revealed Himself, and of course, the final revelation is Jesus, the Lord Himself. So it's looking forward to that. Oh, okay. Kaya makita niyo sa Old Testament, there are still a lot of things about death, about uh, fighting, wars, and everything. Many oh. uh, many laws, but at the time oh. of Jesus, he summarized everything in the law of love. Oh. Parang iniba niya. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Parang iniba niya. Oh. May so, say something? Yes, yeah, please go ahead. Huh? Parang lang nakikita ko kasi, what I see is that um, the Old Testament um, description or impression about God is one of uh, justice. Justice above all. But when Jesus came, he said, there is justice, yes, but first, there should be love and mercy. So the justice that Jesus, I think, um, imposes on us or um, applies to us is always tempered by mercy, always tempered by love. So when he says, uh, no one goes to the Father except through me, he has his way. He's the truth and he's the light, he's the life. And always that is lighted by by mercy, always with with, uh, love. So I think that is the old and the and the New Testament's main difference. And uh, the parables, I think, they're always um, making a difference. Like, you cannot merge the old and the new uh, cloak. You have the pieces of old and the pieces of the, the new ones. And then um, the old and the new wine skins. Because... I think it is a really radical, di ba, Father, no? parang radical na viewpoint yung bago magustisya, awa muna, pagmamahal muna. And then we, we put in justice. Eh, sa kabila, sa Old Testament, justice talaga kaagad eh. Pag nagkamali, meron na kaagad pa to na, na punishment kaagad. And so, sa akin lang, personal lang, what, what is this telling us? It's just telling us that God really loves us. God really loves us. And that's why when he sent Jesus, when he sent Jesus, he made Jesus' way of taking us back to the Father more considerate of human frailty, more forgiving, more loving. Tapos, yun na nga, na hindi tayo dapat matakot sa kanya to follow his way because there is always mercy along the way he is going to make sure that he has that he is with us kaya yung divine mercy niya ang ganda-ganda di ba father na nangangako siya na basta invoke lang natin yung pangalan niya sa yeah, God, yeah. father mercy will be with us so i think that's that's the main difference in the two Thank you, Tita Horse. Or perhaps yeah, in, the you, Tita in the other language, the Old Testament is really legalistic. Mm-hmm. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Because mm-hmm. righteousness is also a sign of the kingdom of God. To be just is to be righteous. To be righteous and just is to seek always the will of God and to do things according to the will of God. So 
could be bordering on that, but uh, the legalism of the Old Testament, that's why we realized that last time we said there are 624 laws. Now, when parang everything is about the law, it's all about the law. So, paghinga mo dito, you violate, you, you are accepted mm. for a punishment. Pag tumingin ka dito, kala another sinfulness. So, man would never be perfect even as it says, be perfected as the Father is perfect. Because we are simply colored by the laws, legalism. Mm. So, fasting is a legalistic way. Of course, not eating sa atin ngayon, di ba? Pag at the age of 18 to 60, although kayo mga excuse na kayo. So, <laughs> so the, that's the legalist. <laughs> but the Lord wanted to bring really, yeah, that is the, what we call the love, the mercy, and the compassion. That, that, that these things can be lived with. And the spiritual fasting is very important because that is the curbing of our hearts from sinfulness. And so sinful as we are, the Lord is showing us His mercy, His chance to us every day. And in fact, waking up every day is the chance of the Lord to do better today. Not to do bitter, ha? Baka mas mapait. <laughs> to do better, not to be bitter. <laughs> Kasi it's a chance for us to live and a chance for us to grow according to the plan of God. Yes, thank you, Potita. Thank you. Thank you, Tita Kors. Um, so. Dapat may welcome sharing si Tita Mel. Tita Mel, what's your impression? <laughs> Please unmute yourself. Wala si Tita Mel. Hi, uh, Father. Sorry. <laughs> yes, yeah, sabi, sabi ko, ko dapat may welcome address yung ano yung yung aming newcomer. <laughs> your impression lang po tita, your impression, something to say. Uh, with, with the gospel, Father, no. Oh, for for, for the impression mo sa impression mo sa group, Personal, like, huh? sa gospel. Mm-hmm. Huh? Okay. For well, what we have um, shared today. <laughs> Yes, ah, okay. Well, with the group naman, Father, um, it's my second day to be here, no? Uh, to, to join mm-hmm. the group, oo. Mm-hmm. Um, well, Tita Bell or Dr. Bell, um, I always tell her naman na I'm very thankful talaga because uh, it was not her who who really <laughs> um urged me to join, but it was me on the other hand na nag-urge kay Dr. na I really wanted to join a group where I can... Um, not just to father, but not just to to share my feelings, but I wanted to be in a group where, where I will be inspired and I will be near to God. So with the gospel that you shared earlier, Father, um, uh, it was a bit deep for for me to to say something. But um, yeah, I totally agree with you, Father, in the sense that um, young fasting fasting is is a way for us human beings to to not just appreciate the the blessings that the god has given us but it's also a way for us to to reflect uh to reflect on this is just my my opinion lang father i, I, I yes, might be ma- wrong on this opo but for me um when you do fasting uh, it's a way for you to reflect on the things or the sins or the the wrong things that you are doing here on earth. That's why, because when when you fast, that's the time that you um, you are near, are to, near God. to God. You you are one with Him. Oh, so fasting for me, Father, I will convert it in a in a symbolic way. Na it's it's for you to to stop for a minute. It's for you to reflect for a minute with all the different activities that you have in your life. And you see, Father, Pug, when we do fasting, it's not easy, diba? Right? Because you don't yeah. eat, you don't mm-hmm. drink. So these are the things that is hard to do, same as yes. when you wanted to stop. Because let's say, for example, in a day you have 24 hours, you have a lot of job to do, you have a lot of things to accomplish, and it's so hard for somebody to stop, pause, 
pray, reflect. It's that's how I connect it to to fasting, Father. Yung magreflect tayo, magpost tayo, just to thank God for what we have right now. So that's how I look at the gospel that you shared with us, Father. So, yeah, it's it's hard to fast. It's it's hard to to put a little time for yourself to be with God because of the earthly things that we have. So, yun yung ano ko, Father, um, sharing ko and observation ko. And with the group, I'm I'm very happy. I'm very I'm very very honored to be part of the group. Considering father, na I'm I'm just a nobody compared to the accomplishments that the rest of the group has. So that's why I'm always very very thankful to be part of the group, and hopefully, I'll be able to share whatever blessings that I have, whatever authority that I have in order for me to to help uh, with whatever ministry that the group will be having. So, yun po yung sharing ko, Father. Sorry, I'm caught in the act. Hindi ko nagka-prepare. No. No, no. <laughs> well prepared. Message, well prepared. Sometimes. Holy Spirit. Yes. Holy Spirit yes. coming from the heart. Yeah. Um, oh, very nice. Thank you. Oh. Thank my you, my conversation, my my per- my conver- uh, th- thank you Tita Mels. My conversation kami no briefly ni Tita Mels no na she came mm-hmm. she came so early kahapon ba and then <laughs> parang guided with Holy Spirit Father. Uh-huh. Guided with Holy Spirit because because um she was she was um she was looking for something or she has been looking mm-hmm. for something kasi mm-hmm. ang position niya sa, sa SM Shuma, uh, sa SM siya, store manager mm-hmm. siya. And she's the one mm-hmm. in charge of of this charity, charitable acts, mga mga charities mm-hmm. nila. And she, sometimes mm-hmm. she is so short. She is so short of of recipients. Imagine that. Mm-hmm. Ayo is short oh, of the, of donors. She is short of recipients. Oh, kasi so, malaki. Oh, 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 kasi, kasi malaki. Siya ang nag-plano lahat-lahat. Mm-hmm. So sabi ko, you are... Uh, na-remember ko ang uh, send, O Lord, holy apostles into your <laughs> Yun ang prayer na ano ko. Na, mm-hmm. na, na, na-remember ko ba. Um, uh, Melanie, oh, Tita, Tita Mels is uh, willing to, to share the blessings of... Uh, of the company that uh, she's working she she's so willing to to share to the right people and i think this is the right place for her ang ministry natin Oh, uh, nice. Uh, Mel, were you not around when i gave a talk sa mga managers ng supermarkets ng SM uh father uh, wala siguro ako noon father kasi i was actually uh, on magna carta leave for one month kasi i had my operation uh, pero ano Three years ago yun. <laughs> years. Ah, sorry. Three. So, wala na. <laughs> <laughs> baby Baka. pa siya noon, father. A baby. <laughs> I, so, I went, saan I yun na branch funder? Lahat ng stores ng, ano, ng SM. Ah, Kasi okay. I, I went uh, around uh, all over the Philippines. Ako, one time, I, they asked me to go all over. I started dito sa Quezon City for Luzon, South Luzon, mm-hmm. North Luzon, and Greater Manila area. Tapos mm-hmm. I went to Iloilo and Bacolod and Cebu for Mindanao and Cebu. Mm-hmm. Lahat ng managers. Um, Absent kayo ng Tita Mel. Oo, Absent. Malate siguro. Absent si Tita Mel. Pero I would like to accentuate three things. Alam niyo ang ganda ng sinabi niyo. Sabi niyo po, kayo nag-insist kay Tita Bell. Tita Bell invited you. But at the end, it's the Lord whom you have answered yeah. the call through Tita oh, Bell, yes. and oh, yeah. he, you answered the call of God. Pangalawa, you know, dito sa group natin, well, it's not about uh, kung ano man nakuha, but we are all equal. We are all seeking the word of God. We are all thirsty for the word of God. We are all in hunger for the word of God. And, and thirdly, of course, so nice, kasi you brought into spiritual fasting yung reflection ninyo. Really to pause for a while and discover God. And that's the what the Lord wants us from us as well. To trim our hearts uh, spiritually in order to be with Him. Thank you, Tita Mel. So nice. Oh, thank nice. you, Father. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very thank much. Thank you, Tita. Wow. <laughs>
<laughs> by profession, <laughs> FYI, pala by profession, si Tita Mel is a nurse. Hmm. Wow. Yes, oh, oh. <laughs> Galing. <laughs> Ang layo ng na layo ng ano. You have a mission talaga. You have a mission. That's what I yes, told her. Kita. Oh, yes. my mission ka. Mm-hmm. And to so, be a yes. nurse is a healer as well, di ba? Oh, oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, so you okay. assist in the physical healing of those people who are in need because you have the resources and you yes. are the the CSR branch of SM. Yes, mother. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> then, ni, ni tita, tita Bell at you. Everything actually, father is parang nakaplan talaga siya, father. Eh. Kaya mm-hmm. I'm very nagkagos nag, uh, bumps ako eh, if ever I, I, I come to think of it how 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 was it possible that I joined the group basta uh-huh. it was a long story father alam ni, ni Dr. Rabel yan <laughs> welcome to Tita Connie Tita Tita Connie hi Tita Connie hi Tita Connie I'm sorry I'm coming I'm getting no in late worry. No worry, no one is late. It's always on time. <laughs> Kasi naglakaw po ako sa syudad. May important oh, wow. <laughs> No worry, tita. Oh, dami natin. Congrats for the presence. Tonight. Yeah, 15. We're 15. Wow. Oh, you see? Yes. Wow. Oh, very for, nice. Pag na, Praise pag na, God. Yes. Pag, na, kasi, na, pag nakita ko, mapuha ni Tito Manny, Tito Benji, dumadami tayo. <laughs> Come on. The Come on. on handsome. The Come on. Handsomeness. Nabawasan yung ngipin. Lalo na kapag naayos na ito yung ngipin ko. Nabawasan yung ngipin. Talaga ni Richard Gere ka na ito ito bench. It will be completed. It will be completed dito bench. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. So, isang ngiting ko, ayan o. Huwag na ipakita. Walang dentist dito. So, see you tomorrow. So, thank you very much, no, Father, you, for your time. Father. Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Tita Mel. Thank you, Tita Mel. Father, we love you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Ako, late ka na. Late ka na. <laughs> Kaya nga eh, oo. <laughs> so mag, mag, mag three pointers na lang tayo siguro and the um, meeting adjourn or any mm-hmm. any uh, other okay. ano? No? Wala, kompleto na. Kompleto na. Hmm. Ma, ano, very nice. Thank you, Tita Melha. Very nice um, ano, coming from your heart me- message and ano, reflection coming from oh, your heart. I, natakot, natakot nga ako, Tita MJ. <laughs> ano pa, paano ko to i- Ano ko i ano i explain yung sa fasting but actually it was not me who, who said those words parang lumabas na sa ubot oo nasa utak lang at saka nasa puso then i just speak out whatever i i yeah coming yeah coming from the heart. holy spirit ka yeah guided by the holy spirit everything is guided so no? uh, everything is guided yeah so anyway uh, 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 please go ahead, Tita Lynn, for the, the three pointers. The three pointers for today's gospel. Number one, in today's gospel, Jesus tells us that to be his disciples, we will experience great joy in knowing, loving, and serving him. Our faith in Jesus will lead us to eternal salvation. Number two, However, when Jesus spoke of our need to fast, he wants to remind us too that within this good news of salvation, there is the reality of the cross that we have to take up daily to follow Jesus. Number three, whether it is the joy of the gift of eternal life or the pain of the cross, we have to bear Jesus is challenging us to be constantly open to this truth that is the new life 
and we are being challenged in our old ways of thinking and living. And that is the old way. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tita Lynn. A beautiful message. Um, any... Uh, okay. Please, okay. Please go ahead. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for giving us the strength to this time of the day. Of, of the day. We have enjoyed fellowshipping with each other and spending time in your presence. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 And glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the, Holy, the Spirit. Holy Spirit. As, As it was, was in the beginning, now and now ever, 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 ever shall be, be. world, world, world without end. Amen. 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 In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you. Everyone. This is the day the Lord has made. Yeah. Happy, happy first Friday. Happy first Friday. Happy first Friday. Happy first Friday. Bye. 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 Love you guys. Thank you very you much. Bye. Thank Take you. Care. Bye. 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 Bukas again. Ha? Bukas again. Yes, See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.